Key West is known for Margaritaville, Ernest Hemingway, and Tropical Paradise. But Key West is also known as one of the most haunted places in the world. How could it be with these blue skies and waters? We are heading to the location of possibly the most haunted doll in the world and the most famous. Here at East Martello Museum, which is a former fortress, the home of Robert the Doll. Fort East Martello dates back to 1862 when the U.S. Army during the Civil War built it to provide extra protection for Key West and defend against a potential Confederate sea assault. It was never finished being built and was abandoned after the war until 1950 when the Key West Art and Historical Society and their army of volunteers cleared away years of debris to open it as a museum. Their gift shop is full of haunted items that you can bring home. They have embraced their spooky side, both with Robert and the metal statues of Stanley Poppy throughout this history-filled fortress. We're here for the legendary doll, though. Originally owned by Robert Eugene Otto, a prominent eccentric artist in Key West, the doll was reportedly purchased by his grandfather while on a trip to Germany and manufactured by the Steiff Company of Germany. This goes against some of the tales told that it was a Caribbean servant who crafted the doll in some kind of voodoo curse. Truth can be stranger and more frightening than fiction, though, when you hear that Robert may have had a clown face and may have never been intended to be a toy at all, but a window display of clowns or jesters. May we have permission to film you, please? We don't know if the legend of Robert terrorizing passing children from his window, moving when people are looking, tearing up rooms is true, but legend says you ask permission to take a picture and we are polite ghost hunters. The legend says that people who do not ask Robert for permission end up cursed and have even written letters begging to be released from it. You can also leave Robert a message on the board behind him. My kids were especially excited to meet him, having watched videos on his legend and were thrilled. Look at the letters mm -hmm. of people asking them to, him to undo the curse. All right. Cool. He's looking at you. The legend goes like this. When Jean was gifted the doll, he took it everywhere and treated Robert like a person. He started blaming all of the issues in his house on the doll. If something went missing, if a room was disturbed, it was Robert. Jean's parents heard him speaking to the doll in an entirely different voice answering back. When Jean married and inherited the home, he gave Robert his own room upstairs. His wife, Anne, was scared of the doll and asked him to lock Robert in the attic which the doll did not like. They heard footsteps in the attic. Neighborhood kids said they saw him watching him from the window and mocking them as they walked to school and avoided the house entirely. Jean heard about this, but knowing he locked Robert in the attic, there was no way he'd be sitting in the window. But when he opened the door, there he was, sitting in the rocking chair by the window in the upstairs bedroom. He was told to have locked the doll up several times in the attic, only to find him in the chair by the window in that same room. Jean died in 1974 and a new owner moved into the home on Eaton Street. They had a 10-year-old daughter who was so happy to find Robert the doll in the attic. But then she started claiming that Robert was alive and wanted to hurt her. She woke up in the middle of the night screaming in fear, told her parents that Robert was moving in the room. After this, Robert was donated and he lives today here in the Fort East Martello, where visitors from all over the world come to meet him. He's also supposedly still up to his old tricks. If you don't ask permission, your camera may not work, only to begin working again mysteriously after you leave. The entire fort is very spooky, and the metal sculptures, they don't make it less spooky. It's almost like a maze. But we enjoyed our visit here very much. Also, when you go to the gift shop, you can find your own Robert the doll to take home with you. My kids did too. I asked the attendant and she said that it, those were not going to be haunted, so it was okay to take them home. Have you ever met Robert the doll? Have you heard this legend? Let us know in the comments. As always, happy hauntings. <laughs>